missing information from the triangle. So here we have a right triangle in which we're given two of the angles and one of the sides. So to completely solve it means to find all of the missing information. So let's uh, first start with the low-hanging fruit here. Let's get angle B, because all of the angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So in order to solve for B, we can take 180 degrees, we can subtract angle A, which is 25 degrees, and we can subtract angle C, which is marked as a 90 degree angle, and that's going to leave us with the leftover that would be remaining for angle B. So 180 minus 25 minus 90 leaves with 65 degrees left for angle B, and that's the answer to angle B. Now for the other two pieces of information that are missing, let's break out some of our trigonometry. So we have side A, and we know what the 10 is over here on the bottom leg. So we're going to use a tangent function to notice the tangent of 25 degrees would be equal to opposite leg, which is A, over the adjacent leg, which is 10. So A is equal to 10, 25, or sorry, 10, 25 degrees is equal to A over 10. Multiply both sides by 10, which would yield that A is equal to 10 times the tangent of 25 degrees. So again, breaking out a calculator here, 10 times tangent of 25 degrees looks to be around 4.66 to two decimal places. So side A is 4.66. Last piece now. Side C, we could use the Pythagorean theorem now that we have A and B, but since A was approximated to two decimal places of accuracy, I'm going to choose to use a trig function. I'm going to use a trig function that is going to relate the adjacent side to the hypotenuse here. So we're going to use a cosine. Cosine of 25 degrees is equal to the adjacent, which is 10, over the hypotenuse, which is C. So multiplying by C, and dividing over by cosine 25 means that C is going to be equal to 10 over cosine of 25 degrees and breaking out the trusty old calculator 10 divided by cosine of 25 is 11.03 11.03 so, with that, why don't you try to do one on your own now? We completely solved this triangle. See if you can do this one. Okay, assuming you paused the video and tried this out on your own, let's do it together. Okay, we have uh, angle A, which is the last of the remaining angles, so we will go with the 180 degrees in a whole triangle, subtracted by the B angle, which is 57, subtracted by the C angle, which is 90. So we have 180 degrees minus 57 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is going to yield the A angle. So 180 minus 57 minus 90 leaves us with 33 degrees. So angle A is 33 degrees. For the sides, first of all, for side A, notice we have an adjacent leg and we know the hypotenuse. So I'm going to choose to use a cosine function this time. The cosine of 57 degrees is going to be equal to the adjacent A over the hypotenuse 30. So multiplying both sides by 30 is going to yield A equals 30 cosine of 57 degrees. And from the calculator, 30 cosine 57 is 16.34. So hopefully you got 16.34 for side A. And then for our last side, again, we could use the Pythagorean theorem if we wished, but since we're rounding side A, I'm going to choose to bring out a trig function here. I know the hypotenuse. I want the opposite this time, so I'm going to choose to use a sine function. Sine of 57 degrees is going to be the opposite side, which is B over the hypotenuse of 30. And so therefore, B would be equal to 30 sine of 57 degrees and 30 sine 57 degrees is 25.16. So that last piece of information completely solves this triangle.